the boys are back and living down under. So the in-between is two. It's a fill about Will, Neil, Simon and Jay and they are back on holiday yet again. This time they are down under in Australia. So as you expect you get the usual crude humour, you get racist remarks, sexist remarks, all sorts of comedy which you expect from an immature kind of person that's in their perhaps teens, late teens, early twenties. And I think that's probably the target audience that this film probably aims at. If you're someone in their thirties or forties you might look at some of the jokes in this film and think oh, I didn't quite find that very tasteful. Probably the best way I could describe this film would be that it's a lot like a British version of American Pie but perhaps not quite as good as American Pie. There are some good moments in this film. For example, there is one scene with the water park and everything comes together very well in this scene. Lots of co comedy, lots of humour. Basically you have Will who's trying to compete with this other guy to win this girl's heart. He's on the water slide, he's going down, he's competing, he's going to have a race with him. And Neil who's standing behind him, he's eating something funny, he's quite constipated. And of course, the worst comes to the worst. He poos, the poo goes down the slide and the poo chases Will down the slide. He gets to the bottom, he celebrates that he won, he turns around and bang! Poo straight into the face. Ooh! Very, very nasty for him. And it, this is the kind of humour that the film has, but the, the water slide was probably one of the better parts of the film. There was another scene where they're in the desert, and I just looked at it and thought, you know, it didn't really get me going. It kind of went on a bit too long, probably. That's the, probably the best thing that I could say about it. Get some cameos from the TV series and the film. Mr. Gilbert makes one or two appearances towards the end of the film. He's probably one of the best characters in the TV series. And of course you have uh, Will's mother, you have Neil's father. They make cameo appearances as well. Jay's father makes an appearance. And I meet his uncle as well, who's this Aussie dude who's living in Australia, of course. And yeah, he's not the best of characters, to be honest. He's, you know... Overall, what I would say about this film is it's probably better as a TV series. I think the films are just a stretch too far for this franchise. And unfortunately, this franchise is coming to an end. I do understand that this is the last film and the last time that the Inbetweeners cast are going to be together. I think it could have ended a bit better, but it's the Inbetweeners. It's what it does. And overall, I will give this film a rating of sale value. I would say that you can pick it up perhaps in a year's time when it's dropped down in price, maybe £5 or less. I think that'll be a pretty good deal, but full price for this, nope, it's a no-go. Hope you all enjoyed, guys. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>